Some warn of a post-antibiotic apocalypse, an emerging health threat greater even than cancer. Decades of overprescription have inspired a mushrooming generation of drug-resistant bacteria which threaten us all. Today, simple operations and treatments are now complicated by incurable infection. If we do nothing, I think we are going to be in big trouble with infections that we now think of as relatively minor, uh, n n having no options in terms of, of treatment. So we really do have to do as much as we can to protect the effective drugs that we have at the moment. Each year, about 700,000 people around the world die due to drug-resistant infections. If no action is taken, experts say it could be 10 million a year by 2050. The more antibiotics we take, the smarter bacteria become at developing resistance, and they do it quickly. Already, standard treatments for malaria, tuberculosis and HIV are less and less effective. New, game-changing antibiotics are desperately needed, but cost billions to develop. If we think about a drug for diabetes or depression that's used by people every day, that generates a big return. Antibiotics are not used as much, and the newest antibiotics are held in reserve for only the most drug-resistant infections. So the return on those antibiotics just isn't there, so the business model is broken. In the meantime, doctors and patients are being urged to kick the habit of unnecessary antibiotics. Big questions are also being asked of big agriculture, where livestock are fed tons of antibiotics to promote faster growth. Antibiotics, we're wonderful pills, but don't ever think we'll cure all of your ills. In the UK, authorities are desperately trying to get the message across. Don't always think that we can make you better. In the UK, one in four prescriptions for antibiotics is probably unnecessary. The situation globally is much worse. Without changing people's habits and developing new drugs quickly, drug resistance is going to pose a huge threat to human health, and it's going to do so in our lifetime. Simon McGregor with TRT World, London.